What's up guys, welcome back to Defy Chronicles. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to create support and resistance lines and also make sure that you're purchasing at the best price possible. So this is one tool and tips that I've been using since 2016, since I started investing in stocks and I've moved the same thought process into crypto and today I'm gonna be sharing it with you. So basically starting off, we have support levels and so a support level is a price point where the price um, the asset class or the asset finds some type of support and cannot go through it so let's say there is a um, support at twenty thousand dollars and bitcoin goes down to twenty thousand dollars this price level should support bitcoin so it bounces off so taking a look at the chart here um, this is trading view so um, what you can do is go to tradingview.com and if you're investing in stocks or investing in crypto they have all the asset classes so they have stocks they have crypto they have currencies they have forex they have everything so you can go there use bitcoin i'm going to just be using bitcoin as an example we click on the left side on the second icon we open it up and we click on a horizontal line on horizontal line you can just click whenever wherever you want and as you can see we now have a line which can represent a support line level as you can see here down here you can change the line colors the width of the line and also the style so you can have a dash a dot line or just a straight line so i'm just going to leave mine like that and if you click on it you can move it up or down so now how do i know when i have a support level i'm going to be using using the brush for that so i have three tips which is i'm going to be I'm gonna say two of them now and the last one I'm gonna save it for the end of the video because I want to explain something spe special around it so first thing is volume and second how many times that price goes or bounces that level so using those two information let's use first price bounces so let's see here Bitcoin started at ten thousand dollars goes up goes down goes up 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 till 42k right then it goes down to 30k so in that range between 29k and 20 and 30k we have one bounce so i'm just gonna make a circle here as you can see it goes up down up 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 down and then again testing right here at thirty thousand dollars then again here at thirty thousand dollars goes up a little bit and then again here at thirty thousand dollars then we went straight to 69 68 so yeah 69k then we went down again to 30k as you can see so now we have how many bounces we have one two three four five after three at least for me i think it is valid of course if it has more than three it is even way more valid so basically there's two things that i'm looking on the bounces one how many times it has bounced from that level and second how high it went off that level so for example let's say it goes to 30k and it bounces to 30k 150. that is really not much but if on the other side it goes to from 30k to 35k 40k as you can see here it bounces on 30k it went to 64k bounces on 30k went to 40k bounces on 30k went to i think 37 30k again and we went up to 69k so i know i know that one of the main support levels are or is the 30k so let me just change it here and move it here at 30k now one thing you need to take into consideration is that levels and support levels are just ranges i'm not saying that 30k is perfect it can go down to maybe 3500 or go even lower 29700 so it really depends on you where you want to plot your range and also it depends on the asset class like for example um, something that has way more volatility than bitcoin then maybe you should increase your range and something with less volatility maybe ethereum or bitcoin you know that your range can be a little bit smaller so i said the first thing was 
how many times it touches the support level. And the second thing is volume. I'm going to be using the brush again. As you can see here on that level, when we touches the 30K, look at the level. Look at here. So look at the differences of the volume and do a comparison to the 69K volume. You can see the differences here. Look at the 30K volume here and here and look at the differences of the 69K. Again, look at it here, look at the volume here, 69K, and again, do the differences between the comparison between the 69K and 30K. So that's why if you're looking into a support level, yes, you need to be looking at the touches, how many times it touches, but also the support. So you can know how much activity there is around that level. So again, same thing. Let's take a look at that level that we are in today, which is around the 20K, 19.8. We have one touch here, probably around two touches here. Then we have like probably over a month staying at that level. As you can see, they have, let me open this up. You have another one here, another one here, and another one here. So as you can see, we can add another level here. And if we take a look at the volume also, you can see that the volume is way higher. Look at that volume here. Look at that spike. Look at that volume. So there you have it. Basically, you should be looking at the volume first and also how many times it is touching that level. After three, I think it is a pretty valid um, support level or even resistance level and now moving to resistance level let me add again this thing so let's say now Bitcoin is at 30k it goes up to 69 goes down goes up and it breaks the 30k what happens then now the good thing is that we already have that level charted so we just need to look at it now we are at 29k at, at 20k sorry so that means the 30k is now the resistance level a resistance level is a price point where the asset struggles to break it so bitcoin is at 20k goes up bounces goes down bounces again when it goes up bounces so basically the 30k is now a resistance level and until it break it breaks it it will be his resistance level or, or possibly the biggest resistance level at the moment so then again we have another support here and as you can see now the thing is we are at 20k support or we are actually under it and the resistance is 30k so now let's say Bitcoin breaks the 20k where do we go then let's just take a look at the chart. Let's use the brush. What is the next level here? If we open it up a little bit. So you can see we have one here, one touch here. We have this here. So you can see that we have one touch here, two, three, and also one around here. So I'm going to plot it so you can see it. I'm going to open this up. And remove that. And as you can see, so now we have one, two, three touches. We have another touch here. And we have another one here. So you could say this is a valid support level. Now, I'm not saying this is a support level that is bigger or stronger than the $30,000, but at least you have some types of, of uh, knowledge that at least at the 7.5K, there is some type of resistance that if it goes there, it should bounce at least a little bit, depending on the price and news that there are out there. Now, lastly, tip number three, let's say we are out of recession and things are looking good. What the heck happened to my camera? Okay, so let's say we are out of recession and things are looking good. 
and we go to 62k 64k go up blah 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 and let me just use that brush and we do this how do you know when is the best time to cash out or do how do you know what is your resistance level how how the hell so basically let's say we break the 69 so of course that 69 becomes the new support level and so as you can see so the 69 now becomes the new support level so let's say we are at around 80k so how can we know when we should be cashing out or at least be safe and know what is the next resistance level how i do it is by using psychological key levels a psychological key level works really good because we as humans we are very uh, we like simplicity so let's say um last time you were asking for a raise usually we don't ask raise like um asking for 9.54 percent usually we just ask for five percent ten percent fifteen percent twenty percent Remember last time you were saying that you were doing a budget to purchase something, let's say a car. Usually we don't write out that we have $11,573 to purchase a car. Usually we just type, okay, so I have 11K or 10K. Same thing for a house. We don't say that we have um, $87,000 with $782. Usually it is just 90K or 100K. So same thing works within trading and investing that's why in 2021 we had a lot of people just thinking and screaming that the next target was a hundred thousand just because it is a round number we as humans we just like those type of things so usually if we are at 75k next target for us is 80k if we are at 80k we want 90k if we are at 90k we want 100k just think about it let's say you take a trade at 80k and you know that bitcoin will break 100k usually we don't say i'm gonna cash out at 101 no you're going to cash out at 100 let's say it breaks above 100 next target for you is 110 or 150 or 200 this is a round number so next time you see yourself within a range that there is no close support or resistance level what you can do is just use psychological key levels so basically this is something is what i use for charting on trading view let me know if i didn't cover something or if there is any other tips or tricks that i should be using to track um, the trends on the asset classes on trading view